What's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. Uh, this is the part five of uh, AWS uh, API Gateway plus Lambda integration. So in part four, we have discussed about uh, creating a validation model and also the mapping models. And um, uh, we have covered up pretty much um, on the models uh, in the last video. In part four, if you have uh, not seen those videos, please go ahead and watch those videos first and then come to this video, which is part number five. So please uh, watch these videos in the order uh, so that it will make sense, all right? Um, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deploy our uh, API, which I have created in the previous uh, part four. And uh, we will test this out in the Postman and also we will uh, enable the course um, if uh, it is blocked, all right? So go ahead and and uh, if you're in the uh, resources section, all right, um, in the previous video, we have tested our APIs or the post operation, um, which is uh, successful. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and deploy our API to the test um, environment, uh, to test staging and go ahead and deploy like so uh, so now that you have uh, your deployment url and go ahead into stages and you should be able to see this test go ahead and click on the post uh, so this is the api that we have created all right and copy the um copy the uh, url that uh, it is created just copy the link and uh, open up uh, a new browser and you should be able to test your, your api so go ahead and test so i'm going to test cars so just google it uh, for test cars okay and then so this is the first website go ahead and click on test course uh, our request is nothing but post all right this is the remote url that we have and remove this operation in the end and test slash math slash add okay um and click on send request there you go um your there is an error course error okay so click on inspect right click on inspect and open console you can see the course error which is um cross origin uh, request which is basically you're trying to access this uh, api outside of your domain okay so that's why you see this error um you i, I will link to the um uh, video uh, where you can uh, read and understand more about course if you don't know what is course is okay so i cannot cover that in this video because that is a uh, uh, error that uh, you should read more about this uh, online okay um so okay so now that the course is not enabled on our api so go ahead and uh, click on api gateway and then uh, let's enable the course uh, for this stage okay so click on resources click on this api uh, post all right and go ahead and click on actions like so and then click on enable course um, this is the post request and that simply adds the access control uh, allow origin to asterisk which means allow from anywhere uh, so basically it also creates the option method this is the default that should be enabled all right and go ahead and uh, click on enable course and click on yes replace existing values and that will uh, create uh, enable the cars on your apis okay let's try it in the postman okay uh, because that seems to be some weird error i have a uh, postman already open in my local and go ahead and put um, your url right here which is post and paste the url and remove the operation like so and put add and uh, remember you need to send the body like so click on draw and then click on uh, json from the list because we will be sending a json data uh, which is num1 of type number let's say i'm going to send 876 and num2 um, i'm going to send something like 098 i hope that's correct maybe just put 98 okay um let's go ahead and test it uh let's see if this works click on send there you go uh it works and you get the result back which is 974 and you can also see the response uh headers uh if you go to status 200 okay test results maybe headers there you go you see the response headers right like access um control origin allow origin uh to the asterisk yeah I don't know why that website was not working for me but uh, you can try it out on your own but you get the idea right like um, you can enable the cars on your api gateway and then you can test it out from your postman if you do not have postman uh, please install it it's a nice tool for testing the apis all right um so yeah there you go um you are able to get the data back and also try out the other uh, path params like multiply you should be able to click on send and see the results like uh, like so so which is great all right um okay guys thank you so much and uh i think i forgot some other thing where you should be able to export your uh, uh, api in the postman right so let's go back to the postman just close this window again okay 
um, do not save any changes just don't save okay and now go back to the um, tab okay now click on uh, resources uh, post method or maybe go to the stages okay click on test and go to the export section okay in the stages click on stages come back to the test click on test you should be able to land on this page and then click on export tab and go ahead and export as swagger and postman extensions and also you can um, you know directly export it as a swagger uh, file and also ABA extensions in my case I'm gonna go ahead and use the postman on the third option okay so it is downloaded successfully uh, and you can uh, just import this file into your postman now head back to the uh, postman and you see this import here right so click on import and then uh, let's drag and drop the file open the window and let me drag and drop this file over here the file that we have downloaded you see the rest api series right so it, it was able to uh, recognize this uh, api and then click on import okay so now that is it has imported you can see the apis here expand this and now go to a uh, rest api series click on math operation and post request and click on the post request so you should be able to see here and just replace this operation with any of the operations that you want and then go to the body and there you go that's the default body that it generated some random number and click on uh, remove the api something like 165 and also put some number like five and then uh, yeah i think that should be enough and go ahead and click on send so there you go you see the result um uh, which has added uh, 765 to 5 and you get the result back all right and you can also do subtract um and click on send so there you go you get the result back so i hope uh, you guys have understood uh, this um, exporting uh, and also enabling the course on the on your api so uh, this is the part five of the series uh, of api gateway plus lambda integration please like this video please subscribe to the video and please 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 comment um, if you like or uh, if you are trying to um, understand it or if you think that it is difficult to understand please comment i will try and share more details on this and thank you so much i will see you guys and in, in the part six in part six we will discuss about um uh, a dashboard settings usage plans api keys and rest of the uh, functionality from the api gateway all right thank you so much